subnetting we are taking an example of class a in this we have class a first let us try to understand class a in class a always the first octet there are four octets in ipv4 address so first octet is for a network the other three octets octet is 8 bit so other three are for host in here if you see the question says 10 0 0 0 is the ip so first for class a is always between 0 to 126 so this is in fact a class a and what is the default subnet mask of class a because subnet mask gives you the network so we take 255 that is default and then 000 in the question this is the ip this is the ip and the subnet mask is 255 255 248 0. The 255 it was bound to be, but here 255 is chained and 248 is also chained because it has to be 0, 0. So this is not a default. There is a subnetting which has taken place. The question in front of you is how many new networks were created? If we have used this subnet mask, how many new networks were created? Second thing is how many usable hosts are there per network? So there are number of networks and in each network, how many host or computer or system can be placed or can be given IP address? So these are number of networks. How many hosts and you have to tell the usable host and what is the full range of first three networks? The networks, that is the sub networks which are being made, what are the full range? That is first IP, last IP like this. So here, what is happening? Subnet means you have taken some bits of host ID to network ID. That means network has still borrowed some bits from the host ID. So initially, what would have been the initial case? The default subnet, subnet mask was this 255 these are 81 then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.008 times for 0 and then again 0, 0.08 times because these are octets 8 bit separated by decimal this is again 8 bit okay this is our default one but this was default and what is given in the question is 255 so 1 8 times 1 8 times again we have this this is same because in default also and in this also 255 is there in the second octet it's again eight ones eight ones third one also 248 now 248 when we convert it into binary you can use any method so if you take 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128 if you add them you're going to get 240 that means 1, 1, 1, 5 times 1. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 3 zeros. 3 zeros. And again, 0, 8 times. Okay. Now, what we have done? Submitting means, as I said, always the network bits are 1, host are 0. Network are 1, host is 0. So previously, ones were the network. In the second time, number of ones, how many extra ones we have got from zero? That is, how many zeros are converted into one? How many? How many of these? See, this is eight from second octet and five from third octet. So this is eight and five. These these zeros are being given to know the network or network has borrowed eight plus five. That is thirteen bit. From the host so 13 is the network network bits and how many are remaining with the host see 8 from the last octet 3 here 0 number of zeros so 11 are remaining with the host so first is how many new networks were created so how many are there 
we always go with 2 to the power, two to the, because it is binary. So 2 raised to 13 is 8192. These many new networks, these many new networks were created. 81992 because of this borrowing or stealing, this many networks can be formed. How many hosts are there? Since there are 11 bits for the host, 11 bits for the host, and we know the first and last we cannot use. The first one is subnet address, that is the network address, and the last one is the broadcast address. So we can we will use same thing 2 to the power 11, 2 raised 11, but we need to subtract 2 because. First and last we cannot use. And this is going to be 2048 minus 2. So we have to subtract 2 from here. 2046 is the usable one. Total is 2048, but the usable is 2046. So how many networks? 8192. In each network, how many hosts? 2046. Okay. In each network, 2046, 2046 usable hosts are there per network. The third one is. What is the full range of the first three networks? So let me just clear it. Then we'll try to start with the first range. And you will by yourself understand that how the second and third and the multiple ones can be made. The first one was what? Clearly the first one was 10, 0, 0, 0. We knew the networks now, how many networks and how many hosts are there in the network. Now the trick is that there is a normal way, there is a trick also. So you have this 255, 255, 248 and 0. 248 and 0. Now here, this 248 is the this octet we are interested in. This is the octet where actually uh, things are 0, 0 change and this one was 1, they made 1 and this 0 was completely changed to 1, 1, 1, 1. Now here, the th third octet, it's 248. The highest number, 2 to the power 8 is 256. You subtract it. You subtract it. 2 to the power 8 is 256, 240 is there. When you subtract it, this is 8. So for the third octet, this every network, every subnet will differ by 8, 8 bit in the third octet. Okay, if you don't understand, let me take, tell you another one. Now you start with the last, last zero. You go to the left, the first one you get on this octet, that is the third octet, what is the decimal equivalent? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 2 to the power 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2 to the power 8, 2 to the power 3. I'm saying every octet is different. You have to start from last. You have to go till first one is uh, encountered and that 2 to the power, that is the 8 here, is the, num is the range. So let us start the first one. 10.0, first is 10.0.0.0. We have to start with this. Okay, now what will the second one? 10.0.0.1. Okay, there's no problem. Next will be 10.0.0.2. No problem, this goes on and on. Till what? There will be a point where this IP will be 10.0.0.255. Now 255. What will happen here? If you increase the next one, you go to next one, it will be 256, which is out of the range. So there is a, I saw a video, technical guftugu, Bhupinder sir has given a very good example, 2.59 if the time is, if you change it to 3 o'clock, the clock changes it to 3 o'clock, it will never show you 2.60, it will directly change to 3.00, 2.59 and then 3 o'clock, there is no 2.60 concept. So we have 2.55, when 2.55 is over, one, one, one byte is completed. One byte numbers are completed, so a one has to be carried forward to the next, that is, we can say carried forward to the next one, I'll just show you. So if you have a range, say you have a range, 1 to 10, what will be the next one? 11 to, you will, you will have to do 11 till say 20. Our concept is 1 to 10, then we have to start with 11 to 20, okay, 10 to 11, 10 to 11. So what I'm saying is 10.0.0.255. When it becomes 256, there is no 256 available. If this becomes 0, but actually we have got one extra. So this one will be transferred to this next one. So now this will be 10.0.1.0. Again, we will increase 10.0.1.1, then 1.2, then 1.3 like this. One point it is going to be 
0.255. Again, same thing. When it has to become 256, there is no 256, so it will be 0. And the next one will increase. Next one will increase. So, 8 bit is covered by 255. 8 bit is covered. That 1 bit is over, so it, you have to carry it forward to the next one. 10.0.2.0. And this again go and go again. What will be the last one? I agree what you are thinking is very, it's very naive idea, easy idea, 10.0.8.0, right? This has to be because I said 8 is the, 8 is the second octet range, but that's not correct. This is not the one. This is the last one and actually when I said 255, that means this is going to be the first, first uh, ID of the network. I'm saying our first range will not be this one. The last one will be what would have come in before 10.0.8.0? This 10.0.7.255. When 255 has become 256, then only this 8 has come and this has become 0. So in this first range, the last one will be 10.0.7.255, right? No 10.0.80. And what was just before that? 10.0.7.254. So the first one is again, is this the first one is always subnet address. That is the network address of that subnet. First is fixed. The last one was its broadcast address. Okay. It's always assigned as a broadcast address. So what is the range? What is the full range? This starts from 10.0.01. First one. This is the first in the range. The last one is 10.0.7.254. So first is the submit address. Last is the broadcast address. In between, as I said, these, this one to this one, this is the usable range. Full range we have sh we have shown usable also we have shown. Now I would like to go one step ahead. Second one also let us see. That is the first. This was the first networks, first subnet, and there are so many networks. Eight one nine two networks. What will be the second one? As I said, ten point zero point zero point zero was the first one, and I just discussed that for the sub second subnet. What will be the first one? Ten point zero point eight dot zero. This is the first address. Of the second subnet. What will be the next one? Simply 10.0 dot. The third one will be 10.0 dot 16 dot 0. Now you know understand now. This is the third one starting. So let us come to the second one first. This will increase like 10.0 dot 8 dot 1, then dot 8 dot 1, and at one point it's gonna be 255 at the last. This will remain as 8, 10.0. Right? Now this 255. When it becomes 255, 256, 8 will become 9. Okay, this will be the next one. The next one is 91, 92, this goes on and on. So finally, you have at 1.9.255, again 255 will be 256, 9 will become 10. So 10.0.10.0. And till what, what time it goes? The last one, as you thought, 10.0.16.0, it will not be, it will not be, right? The last one will be, this is the, this is the, first address of the third subnet, third subnet. So the last of the second subnet is 10.0.15.255. Then only this 255 has become 0, then only this 15 has become 16. This is the first one, first subnet address. This is the last one, which is, just rem don't remember this last one. Last one is 10.0.15.255. This is the broadcast address. Just before that, what would have been 10.0.15.254, which is the last one. So the usable range is 10.0.8.1 and 10.0.15.254. This is the usable range. So this is how the question is found. Okay, third also you can do. So this is uh, the class A. If you want class B or class C, just let me know. We are going to discuss some examples of class C and class D also. Thank you so much.